Well, the last round of showers has finally made an appearance on storm track radar, and they will continue to take over the light, pesky, misty conditions that we've had all afternoon and morning on our Thursday. A swath of light to moderate showers has developed in the Gulf and will continue to move on to the nature coast and push inland until around 10 p.m. tonight. That's when I think the rain will be ending. And then after 1 o'clock, those skies will be clearing, drier and much cooler air will begin to filter into north central Florida before daybreak on your Friday. So it'll be noticeably cooler by the time you step out the door Friday morning. Check out your hour by hour. Temperatures stay mild through around 2 o'clock. Then those rain chances really taper off. And then temperatures start to taper off as well to the low 40s by the time you step out the door. So my three big things, we've got a brief cool down after this rain finally makes its way out. No freezes are possible. However, frost is possible for your Saturday morning. And we've got spring fever here in the UF Weather Center. We've got the warmest temps of the year on the way for Sunday through Tuesday. Wait till I show you Tuesday's high. But after that, we've got another weak cold front that we're watching and we're already forecasting some possible thunderstorms for next Wednesday. But check out your morning temperatures for Friday. 41 when you step out the door, 44 down in Ocala. Those showers will be long gone by the time you step out the door and it will be nice and cool out there for your Friday. Check out my six day. Check out the weekend. It is going to be the perfect weekend for anything outdoors. 67 degrees for a high on Saturday, sunny skies, 71 on Sunday. Remember that patchy frost possible for your Saturday morning, but it'll be very early in the morning and uh, it's just going to be a rest, a nice rest of the week. And then there it is, Tuesday's high, 80 degrees. It'll be the warmest we've been all year so far. And then there's that weak cold front making its way through on Wednesday. Temperatures aren't going to drop just yet, but rain chances do go up.